Hi, Alan here, rvacrossamerica.net, and uh, Steve did this. Steve at Forgotten Times Barbershop just came back from the barbershop this morning. Uh, this July 23rd as I'm recording this. I can't believe there's only a week left in July, and then that follows into August. The days are already getting noticeably shorter up here. It's still hot. I'm still in Anaconda. Um, but August will probably be my last full month in Anaconda, and then sometime in September, I'm hitting the road again. I'm going to be an RVer again, not just living in an RV, but traveling in an RV. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, starting to map out my routes, starting to think about where I'm going. But there's still things to do here in Anaconda, and I want to share a really interesting one with you. Uh, that I just did with some new friends who came into the RV park last week. And uh, we all decided to go over to um, something called the Butte Historical Tour. So that's going to make this post at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Butte, B-U-T-T-E, just Butte. So you know I've been talking a lot about Butte, and I, I'm really kind of fascinated by the town. And there's this older fella, used to be a teacher, he's in his mid-70s now, his name is Bob. And Bob takes you on about an hour and a half, hour and three-quarter tour. He's enthusiastic, he's energetic, and he is a wealth of knowledge. And because of his age, he's kind of lived part of the history in this town. He took us to a barbershop, an underground barbershop, and we learned about the dual level system that I still don't understand in uh, Butte, where they had underground sidewalks and underground stores. Um, he took us to the original city jail, and we learned about uh, all of the corrupt officials that ran Butte uh, up until the closure of that jail. It ran for something like 80 years until 1971. And, um, you know, for me, that still sounds like recent history. I remember 1971 quite clearly. Um, he took us and really the highlight of the tour. And this is, you know, I mean, to me, this is really interesting. Hopefully to you, it's interesting. He brought us into a speakeasy that had been covered over by a uh, plasterboard for 57 years, the entrance had been covered, covered over. And in 2004, for the first time in 57 years, people entered into it and found the speakeasy pretty much as it was back in the day. And we spent a lot of time there. I have put together a pictorial essay for you. Uh, I think it's interesting. I'd love to get your feedback. I'd love to get your feedback on this haircut if you like that. But, um, yeah, definitely give me feedback on that, on this video. Hey, I, I need the thumbs up. I want to get these videos out to more people. I want to grow the channel. Uh, leave me a comment. Leave me feedback. Subscribe. That always helps. And on my post at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Butte, leave me a comment. I read all comments both on YouTube or any other video service I put it on and on um, my website. And I do respond to all comments, so expect a comment back, uh, expect thoughts back, and, uh, and I appreciate everybody who shares what they uh, see here. So th it's, it's a heck of a pictorial, pictorial essay, and I brought my friends over to the Miners Hotel afterwards. I've talked about the Miners Hotel in an e earlier post, but I had an opportunity with them, uh, the, uh, uh, the maitre d' took us down to uh, the desk person, I'll put it that way, the desk person at the hotel brought us down to the speakeasy that they have recreated. So it's not a real speakeasy, but they recreated it. And uh, we had an opportunity to do a real walkthrough there and see what their contribution was. And for me, it was interesting comparing what I saw in the actual speakeasy that, again, had not been accessed since 1947 and maybe not all that much since about 1930 or 33 when uh, prohibition was repealed so um you know i'll tell you you go to butte and you'll learn about prohibition you'll learn about the early 20th century uh you learn about uh, a town that ran 24 7 and a lot of that comes out in this post so without any further delay Go to rvcrossamerica.net forward slash Butte, B-U-T-T-E. If you're already here, read on. There's a lot there. There's a, a lot of photos and such. I've got several slideshows. Definitely welcome your feedback on that format. And uh, hey, 
Um, there's much more to come. I'm, I'm now running the clock on staying in southwest Montana. Uh, I know there are other places I want to get to. Uh, I know I'm going to sp be spending some time inside today and tomorrow. Today's supposed to be 94 degrees, and tomorrow will be in the 90s. But then we cool off a bit before we heat up more. Um, but that that's coming to an end soon. I'm sure by August 15, uh, we're going to be knocking on Autumn's door here. And uh, I'm not going to spend uh, much of Autumn here. And uh, I'm definitely not, not going to spend winter here. I'll tell you more about that. Uh, when I hit the road and, and when I'm moving on. Anyway, Alan here, rvcrossamerica.net forward slash view. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to your comments. Take care.